this is going to be my review for my new for Philips Norelco Shaver 9500. And I am going to unbox it for you guys real quick. I like the way the electric shavers are boxed, Philips are brought. I'm not a big fan of rotary shavers, so I think I'm a good person to give a good critique. But uh, it's hard to go wrong with any of these newer shavers out because competitions becoming fierce, especially between Braun and Philips Norelco. Uh, I'm partial to Braun only because they have they are mainly the foil shaver while Philips Norelco is mainly a, a rotary shaver and I'm just not a big fan of rotary shavers. But. Oh, there's a little brush. So, uh, Phillips does have a lot better instructions because they have normal instructions with pictures. Braun just has a bunch of pictures, which you think would be easier. All those jokes of, uh, he just reads picture books, but the Braun pictures are kind of hard to follow. Anyways, it comes with the, uh, self-cleaning station. I haven't ever used one of the Philips self-cleaning stations. The bronze, brown ones are easy to use because you just put the shaver on there and make sure it's going and then just leave it and it does its thing. So hopefully that's the same thing with this. But it does come with the pretty basic cleaning station, a brush, charging cord, a travel carry case. Sorry, you could keep it in here in your house. It's definitely pretty sleek and shiny. Ooh, look at the light reflect off that but uh, I will plug it in and make sure it's charged and then I'll get to the live shave Just hurry and force this off here and get it plugged in so that I don't torture you guys with boring video I just like to do these as fast as I can just to make sure it's worth the price there you go it is plugged in and charging oh look it even says hello how fancy Let's see if I can get that on the camera oh there it goes you can see the little battery meter so it's only got one bar on the battery meter. Looks like 15, that must mean 15 out of 100. So I'll let it charge and then come back for the live shave. Okay, time for the live shave. I was gonna mention that it does say with the uh, Sense IQ technology, it's got comfort guide rings, anti-friction coating, provides a smooth glide for better skin protection, pressure guard sensor, guides you to apply the right pressure, Smart hair sensor reads hair density 500 times per second and auto adapts. Cutting power for an effortless gentle shave. Motion control sensor guides you to an improved shaving technique with fewer passes. So we'll see if all that fancy mumbo jumbo actually lives up to how awesome it sounds. So here we go.
Well, as far as comfort, I'd definitely give it an A+, plus, so I'm just kind of going over it right now. So, uh, usually shave right next to my mirror. So, I'm going to turn the camera. I just really need to go over it at this point, so... Okay, well, <clears throat> I have uh, really thick hair, so I'm just going to say for as much as this razor costs and everything that it says that it does, I don't really think it's worth the money because <sighs> I have a much cheaper, well, I think it's a Panasonic Arc 3. I'm just a big fan of the foil razors because uh, this thing, you really, I mean, you could press down really hard, but it just, it it won't let you really dig in and I really need to do that sometimes with the uh, uh, my face and stubble just because it's really stubborn but this one I can just really press down and I can feel like where it's unshaven even after I'm done and just pull the skin tight and then I can bear down with this one and I can already feel it just getting some leftover by the uh, fancy Philips Norelka one uh, I don't know, it's just, I just really don't think it's worth spending that much money on a, a razor like this. So, that's all I could say. Alright, I'm just going to show you how to use the uh, cleaning pod real quick. So, I've got it all spread out. First thing you do is untwist this. Just kind of pop this to the side. Pop it off. I'm going to set it in here, it said, it's kind of awkward, and then obviously you want to uh, stick this down in the only place it can fit into, and then it said to twist it until you hear it click, so as soon as it clicks you can just barely hear it, it's tight, it said you are supposed to Stick this in there, and then it's actually supposed to be plugged in. Mind you, this is the first time I've ever done it. So, I think you have to turn the power button on on the shaver. And then it's supposed to automatically sense that it's in the cleaning pod. It's not supposed to be plugged in, so let me stick it down in there and then turn it on. There you go. So it can't plug it in, you just stick it on the cleaning pod and turn it on. One thing I did do is I did open it and rinse it off in the water first. I dumped the hair in the trash and then rinsed it in the water, so um, shouldn't have to show anybody how to do that. <clears throat> so says it takes about a minute for this and then after it's done with this you're supposed to let it air dry so it's kind of like the uh, brawn ones you just kind of stick it on there and once you get it going you just let it do its thing so you can see some of the food right there but uh just watch it here and see if it stops after oh it looks like it's got a little time meter on there i don't know if you can see that looks like a little time meter on there Let's zoom in so you can see it real quick. Right. There's like a little pie chart. Circle's almost empty, so it should be done. There you go. So, 
It says to let it air dry. So there you go. You just leave it on there and then let it sit on there to air dry. So I guess it doesn't make any noise. It just says let the shaver air dry completely in the uh, quick clean pod before storing it. <laughs> so, I guess that's your own judgment on that one. So, you're supposed to leave it there until it's dry. Whatever. Probably takes about an hour. So, there you go. It's a shiny, fancy razor. Um, it's not too bad if you want a comfortable shave over all else. But, uh,. Just like any electric shaver, you're going to have to go over it a couple times, so. I'm not overly impressed, but uh, my skin is pretty smooth. So. Oh, I'll just go with the foil razor instead. So, just to put it in perspective, I did go over the other side of my face with my uh, Panasonic Arc 3. I'm not recommending this one, although it is a much cheaper foil razor that I think does just as good of a job as others but I do like the self-cleaning stations but if you want a big fancy razor like the Panasonic one that I just um, reviewed I would go with like the Bronze Series 8 um, I don't think the Bronze Series 9 improved too much on that one but <clears throat> they're almost kind of like running shoes they just keep coming out with these new shavers every year to try to get you to buy the newest latest one but uh um, I do like the cleaning station for the foil razors because um, they do have a reputation with some people for causing ingrown hairs, I guess. So if you rinse these off in the water and then you stick them on the uh, brown cleaning station and just turn them on and let it do its thing, uh, you're going to get a much better shaver if you spend the money on the big fancy ones. Sorry to look at you sideways. Having to been down in my bathroom and stuff, but uh, I'm not one of those... Um, film gurus but uh, I just like to give you honest reviews so there you go that's my take on uh, electric shavers and this one in particular I would definitely go with like the bronze series 8